Hi everyone, welcome once again to ADF step by step tutorials. In the last tutorial on task flow call and task flow return activity, what we saw was how to navigate from one task flow to another using task flow call activity. And also we saw how to return back to the original calling activity calling task flows view by using the task flow return activity. Assume that you have a new case where you want to return back to the original calling task flow but to a different view within that original calling task flow. If you have a use case like this, you can use a task flow return activity along with a navigation rule. So going back to our use case, assume that I have an employee list view. I will navigate to employee create task flow using the task flow call activity. For more details, please view my previous recording. And in the task flow create, we have the employee create view where basically like on, on click of save, I invoke the task flow return activity which navigates me back to the employee list view. Similarly, on clicking on cancel, it invokes the cancel task flow return which takes me back to the original calling task flow which is nothing but it takes me back to the employee list view. Assume that if you have a use case like I have an employee success page. Similarly, I have employee failure. And in this, I'm going to have two success I'm going to have two failure. So basically what I have done is let me just refresh this view from the employee create task flow. I have created two navigations. One is called two success navigation. The another one is called two failure navigation. So now let me which may, which takes me to employee success and employee failure views. So now let me just go ahead and create these views. So here I'm going to say employee. So I, let me just say new employee successfully created. And also I have a navigation so I have a button here which, which would take me to the list page so I just call it as list so we have not defined this navigation so what I'm going to do I go here I define an wildcard navigation to the employee list view which I'm going to call it as to employee list view So let me go back here. I select this list. I define the action as to employee list view. Similarly, let me go and then create the employee failure page. So I'm just going to, this is a failure page. So I'm, I'm going to display the messages. Employee could not be created. So now I'm going to have one more button as we had similar in the like success page. So I'm just going to have it as, have the text as list. I'm going to provide the action as to employee list view. I save everything. Now the idea is so I'll be there. So we'll be there in the employee list view. The user clicks on create, it takes to the employee create task flow. When the user clicks on save, we should take him to the employee success page. When the user clicks on cancel, we should take him back to the employee failure page. And when he clicks on list button in each of these pages, it will take him back to the employee list page. Okay. So in order to do that, so we have done the necessary thing in the 
original task lo. Now let's go to the invoked task lo, which is nothing but the employee create task lo. Here in the save task lo return, go here you will see the outcome. So here I'm just going to specify the outcome as to success. Similarly, for this cancel, I'm going to specify the outcome as to failure. These outcomes are nothing but the outcomes that we want to navigate here. So let me just pull this so that it doesn't confuse us. So basically, whatever like navigation rules we specify to success and to failure, it basically takes us to the corresponding page here. Okay. So now let me run it. So now I'm in the employee list page. I click on create. I go here. I provide the employee names. I'm just going to give it as George and then the employee area is 123. Now I click on save. Since it was a successful scenario, it navigates back to the original calling task flow or the original invoke, invoking task flow, but it navigates to a different view. Okay. So the view is what we have, whatever we have defined as part of the save task flow return. So now I click on list, it takes me back to the list page. Now again, I click on create. Say, suppose I provide the employee details as Scott. And then the employee ID is 234. I don't want to create an employee record. So basically, if I click on cancel, I have not really created an employee record. Assume that it's a failure case where we have not really created an employee. I click on cancel. It takes me back to the employee failure page where employee failure view in the original calling task flow, which is nothing and where it displays the messages employee could not be created. So now I click on list. It basically takes me back to the list page. To just to reiterate, basically what we did was we used task flow call activity to navigate to a different task flow. And basically in the other task flow, when we return, we basically specify the navigation rule where it should take us to the success or the failure page. So basically, instead of returning to the original view, what we what we did in this case was we navigated to a different view, which we specified through the navigation rule in the employee create task. Thanks a lot. Hopefully, like a, you like this tutorial. Keep watching. Enjoy. Thanks.